Welcome back to Paper Builders, the channel where I will teach you guys how to fold some pretty cool origami things. Now, I was reading the comments on one of my other videos, and somebody was asking if I could teach them how to fold an origami paper crane. So, that is what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fold today. Um, it's pretty easy to make. You will need to fold a square base. So, if you already know how to do that, then you'll just, you can skip the next part of the video. But if you don't, then make sure you watch that, because you're going to need to know that to fold this. Now, the origami paper crane was invented by Sadako Sasaki, and um, back then it was a belief that if you folded a thousand of these, then you could get one wish. So um, that's just a belief, and now I'm going to teach you guys how to fold one of the most original origami things. So if you guys are all ready, let's get right into this. So like I said before, in this part of the video, we are going to be folding a square base. And if you already know how to fold this, you can just skip this part. But if you don't, then make sure you watch this. So the first thing we're going to do, I like to call it a flower crease. You're going to have four creases going through your paper. So one up, one to the side, and two going diagonal. So I like doing the diagonal ones first. So first you're going to um, fold it diagonally one way and I like to crease with my fingernail because um, I feel like it's just easier and it gets a really good crease and it doesn't take too long either so fold it diagonally that way then do the same thing on this side and once you have these two folds you're going to fold it in half the regular way um, or what some people call a hot dog so you're going to fold it in half this way. And then unfold it. And then the last one, when you fold it, you're going to fold it in half the same way. But when you're folding a square base, you're not going to unfold this. You're going to keep it. This part is kind of tricky, but what you're going to do is you're going to hold your hand here and you're gonna kind of lift up on this crease. You're gonna lift up on that and then move your hand out of the way and then crease it down. So when you look at it, it's kind of look like, it's kind of like you're looking into a room or in the corner of a room. And there's going to be this uh, triangle flap right here. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to press this down and you're just gonna put your hand here, hold this down and pop it up. So then it's gonna just make this triangle part right here and then you'll have sort of on top and then you're gonna have these like kind of two triangle parts here and the last thing you're gonna do you're just going to pop this down and that is how you fold a square base so once you fold your square base you're going to begin folding the actual crane so you're going, first you're going to fold this up if you were turning upside down it would be like you were folding a paper airplane except on a diagonal side. And then you're going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. So once you have it on both sides, it'll kind of make a, a rhombus shape or like a, like a kite. It actually looks like a kite because you have uh, these lines right here. So once you have um, it folded like that on both sides, you're going to fold this down, just to make this uh, triangle shape. Then it kind of looks like a Christmas tree on this side. You're going to fold this one down on this side, and you're going to unfold these. This part is kind of tricky, but you're going to take the top flap, not this whole thing, but if you put your finger on here, you'll find that there's actually a flap right here. And you're gonna hold your hand here and fold this up on that crease. And when it's bending here, you kind of try to pop it in on those creases. Um, usually it'll kind of just pop right in. You won't need to do um, much forcing the paper. And then just fold it down. And it makes a longer um, diamond shape. And then you're going to turn it over and do the same thing on this side. So just fold this down and then unfold those. Just poke your finger under here, find the right flap, hold your hand, gently pull this up, and make sure not to rip the paper when you're doing this. And yeah, 
just fold these. And these are going to make kind of the um, head and tail later when you're making the crane and these are going to form the wings. So once you have folded to this point, you're going to fold it even more, just making these, um, this is going to be making the head and tail a little bit skinnier. Because um, birds, they don't usually have like super um, fat necks. Usually they're just kind of skinny. Like if you ever seen a picture of a flamingo, it's not a super um, fat neck that's holding its head. It's more of just like a skinny, yeah, just kind of a, a skinny neck holding it up, not something really huge. So you're going to do that on both sides, front and back. So just folding these sides and then turning it over and folding these sides just like it. Then you're going to fold it up. You're um, kind of gonna know when to stop because where the paper meets in the middle, you're not going to be able to fold past that. So you're just going to fold it up diagonally like this. And um, if you're a fan of Star Wars like I am, uh, it kind of just make, it kind of looks like an X-wing, like this. You just need you just need um, two more under here. So you're just going to fold it up like that, or however much you need to. Um, kind of just like your own judgment on what you think would make it look good. Just kind of um, in between. Like if you were to hold it like this, so kind of make a right angle here. That's what I like. Yeah, just trying to keep them even because that'll make it look better. Then th this next part is tricky. But you're gonna unfold it, and when you, if you open it up on the inside, and you fold this up, when you fold it back, you can find that you can actually kind of pop this out. Just, um, just gently pull it out, not too much, because you don't want to rip the paper. But yeah, just pop it out, and then do the same thing with this side. So just fold it up on that crease right there, and then fold this back and just pop it out. Trying to, trying to keep it equal, um, like popping out the same distance as the other one. So usually when you do this, there's going to be one side that kind of like, it didn't um, fold just right. And so usually that side, I like to make the head. And you just, for the head, you're just gonna pop this under, um, fold this down, and fold these, um, these edges up so um, once again you're just going to take you're just going to take this um, top part maybe about an inch long just bend it down and then if you put your fingernail in there these parts will kind of um, just automatically fold there and so then you can't even really tell that that part of the paper wasn't folded right and it looks pretty cool and then since this part um, is short and this part is kind of tall i like to bring that down a little bit makes it a little more even and that's how you do the main part for the origami crane the last thing you're going the last things you're going to do uh fold these down for a wing and there sometimes they say where you can blow into this thing but you don't actually really need to do that you just kind of pull the wings apart not too much but it just um kind of fills this up all right here and you don't really need to blow it anyway well, blowing it is helpful. Just if you were to blow it, it'd be right in that hole. And then you're kind of just gonna take apart these bottom ones. It's kind of going to make nice um, like legs for your thing so it can stand. So if you were to set it down, and also, yeah, just try to keep this. And yeah, this is where blowing would come in handy. Yeah, that's where it kind of would come in handy, just so that doesn't um, pop inside. But then, um, if you can get it out just right, yeah, it's kind of hard. You just kind of kind of pinch it, pinch it on both sides, and then you can see that it will actually stand on its own. So um, that is how you fold an origami paper crane.
all so much for watching this paper benders video where I taught you guys how to fold this origami crane. Now if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscription down below and also a comment on what other things I could make. But um, I think that's all for today, so stay healthy, stay safe, and have a great day.